In this demonstration, we have imported a very basic relief model. We're going to take a look at how we can machine this within ArtCam Express using some of the 3D machining toolpath options. First of all, if I turn on this icon here, we can see we have some vectors created around our design we have this rectangle here and we have an outline vector here now i'm going to follow this by selecting the create machine relief tool path and at the top i have area to machine now we can machine the whole relief but if i select from the pull down selected vectors and select this rectangle here Everything with inside of this vector is going to be machined. If I wanted to do the outside of that vector, I could select this area here. Now the first tool I'm going to select is a finishing tool. So I'm going to click to select here and in my metric aluminium, I have a 3D finishing tool, which is going to be a three millimeter ball nose tool. Now all the speeds, feeds, step overs, plunge rates of the tool are already set for us within this tool database, but you do have full control to edit this if you require. But for now, I'm just going to go with the selected three millimeter ball nose and its settings. And then the next thing I'm going to select will be the roughing options. So I'm going to click to select here, and I'm going to select a 12 millimeter end mill tool and hit select i'm going to leave all the settings the same within this so i'm leaving an allowance of 0.5 millimeters this will leave a skin after it's finished the roughing pass to allow the finishing toolpath to go in and clear this up nicely i'm also leaving z slices turned on now this will work out the number of slices required and the thickness of the slices dependent upon my roughing tools value. To see this, if I select the arrow here, it tells me that the end mill tool that I've selected has the possibility to step down each time six millimeters. If I select my material thickness, and hit here my material thickness and my model is set to 25 millimeters and it's set in the top of the block my z0 at the top if i select calculate now it will firstly calculate my roughing toolpath followed by my finishing toolpath just to select to close this and if I select my machine relief and select this plus arrow here, I have two toolpaths given for me, my end mill and my ball nose tool. If I click on end mill tool and come down to here and press this button here, it will simulate the toolpath for me. So it will start off with the roughing toolpath and it will do the amount of step downs of, of three step downs. And then the finishing one, if I select that and do exactly the same here, I can calculate this. Now you will notice that parameters are here as well. So you have tool numbers, tolerances, feed rates, plunge rates, speed rates, etc. down here. So currently my roughing tool and my finish tool are both tools number one. But if I want my roughing tool to be tool number two, I could change that and just select apply and my roughing tool would be tool number two and my finishing tool would be tool number one. Now to save these toolpaths out, if I select toolpaths and right click and I come down to save toolpath as, I can save both tools if I choose by selecting these and sending them over, organizing them and save them to a list of many machines if I choose, or I can just send one over at a time and select save to save it to the relevant place.